Hello, Niantic is reportedly making a Harry Potter R game. The makers of the once immensely popular Pokemon Go are now making a Harry Potter R game, TechCrunch reported today. Harry Potter Wizards Unite is an R mobile app set to launch next year, co-developed by Warner Brothers. Interactive and its new brand, the aptly named Porky Games. Rumors of a Harry Potter R game developed by Niantic had swirled last year, but were ruled a hoax by Snoke. Many had initially predicted that Pokemon Go would spawn a series of copycat R games. And now that prediction finally seems to be coming true. According to the report, Harry Potter Wizards Unite may be influenced by Niantic's cult classic game Ingress, which allows people to collect boosts, defend locations, and explore their environment, mixing the real world and the digital. Harry Potter's magical elements mixing in with the muggle world is already a theme in the books and movies, so we can expect to see that reappear now in our form. A similar R-based magical game, called Magus, has already been made and is currently in early alpha. It doesn't own any rights to openly incorporating Harry Potter elements into the game in Magus. You can fight in raids and against magical creatures. You can also choose to buy a Magus one to use alongside the mobile app, which is available on iOS and Android. Niantic has had scaling problems when making games for a beloved franchise that millions are clamoring for before. The company hasn't had the greatest relationship with its Pokemon Go player base. As it rolled out updates and bug fixes months after players complained about them and as some initial users dropped the game, Niantic has apologized in the past for the many technical errors and has tried to continue making quality of life improvements. With our previous game Ingress, we were very communicative with players and very open. And we weren't as communicative and open in the beginning of Pokemon Go because that was sort of a new process for our partners. Niantic CEO John Hank acknowledged to The Verge in July. I think we've become much more open over time. Despite all of the setbacks, Pokemon Go was still seeing 65 million monthly users in June, according to Niantic. This time around, any additional infrastructure problems from taking on a large franchise like Harry Potter could also be eased by the Warner Brothers collaboration. We've reached out to Niantic for comments.